TFS is Microsoft's proprietary version control system. It comes in two editions, Team Foundation Server and Team Foundation Service. Team Foundation Server is installed on-premises, whereas Team Foundation Service is in the cloud. It's basically a software as a service or SaaS version of Team Foundation Server. Whether you use Team Foundation Server or Team Foundation Service is entirely up to you. I personally prefer to delegate all the administration tasks and purely focus on development. If you think the same, you're going to love Team Foundation Service. You can sign up and get started in a few seconds. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a project and add it to Team Foundation Service. Then I will present some shortcut keys to make your life easier. The shortcuts I'm going to show you in this lecture apply to both Team Foundation Service and Team Foundation Server. So even if you're not interested in subscribing to TFS in the cloud, I still recommend you to watch this video to learn the shortcut keys. So let's get started. First, go to visualstudio.com. Here you need to sign up for a Visual Studio account. At the time of recording this, I believe signing up is absolutely free. I've already signed up before, so I just need to log in. When you log in, you see a dashboard like this. On the left here, you see the recent projects you've been working on. You can also create a new project here. So let's go ahead and create a new project. Click New here. And then give your project a name like TFS Demo. We leave the defaults here. It doesn't really matter at the moment. Now we navigate to the project. Here is our project's dashboard. Let's quickly see what's available here. On the top, we've got code, work, build, and test. Code is basically your source code repository, like SVN. Let's have a look. Here on the Contents tab, you see all the files in the repository. It's similar to Repo Browser in SVN. History is similar to SVN Log. You can see who's committed what, when. Work menu is where you manage your backlog, sprints, and tasks. The beauty of TFS is that you can create tasks and assign them to developers here, and then they will see them in Visual Studio as part of their development experience. So everything is in one place. You don't need to switch between Visual Studio and a different task tracking application. Unfortunately, discussing all these features is beyond the scope of this lecture, as here I'm only intending to show you a very brief introduction to TFS along with some shortcuts to speed up your coding. In case you're interested to learn more about TFS, please let me know and I will create a separate course for you if there is enough demand. The build menu is where you create your build definitions. For example, you can have TFS build your application every time you commit to the repository. You can have it deploy the application to an environment based on some triggers. Again, with TFS, you can manage your continuous integration without the need to switch to a separate tool. Everything is in one place. The test menu is where you create and manage test plans. You can have various kinds of test plans and schedule them separately. Then you can view the status of all tests, whether they ran successfully or they failed, and so on. Okay, now that we've got a project in Visual Studio Online, we can go to Visual Studio and start coding. Here I've got an ASP.NET MVC application. Let's say we want to add this solution to TFS. First thing we need to do is to go to View and then Team Explorer. This is your gateway to TFS. Everything you saw in Visual Studio Online website is available here in Team Explorer. All the work items, builds, tests, and so on. Now we click on this icon here to connect to TFS. Click Connect here. In this dialog box, you need to specify the server you would like to connect to. Let's go ahead and configure that. In the name or URL text box, type in the address of your Visual Studio Online account. You will get that when you sign up for Visual Studio Online. 
In my case, my account is moshfeq.visualstudio.com. Now it's trying to query the projects that I have created in TFS before. Here are my existing projects. Let's select TFS demo that we created earlier and connect. Okay, now we have successfully connected to TFS. The next step is to add the solution to source control. We right click here on the solution and select add solution to source control. It brings up this dialog box where you see all your existing projects in TFS. So I select TFS demo in this case. Note these green plus icons here in Solution Explorer. They indicate that these are new files that need to be added to the repository. A shortcut that you will need all the time when using TFS is Control, 0, and then P. All TFS shortcuts start with Control and 0, and the next letter specifies the command. In this case, P stands for Pending Changes. So it brings up the Pending Changes panel, which is similar to Commit Dialog in SVN. So you can type a comment and then press Alt and I to check in your code. Well, that's it for this lecture. Again, my intention was to provide a very basic overview of TFS and a few shortcuts that you need to know when using TFS. If you already have experience with TFS, here are some more shortcuts for you.